Hello, dear friends. Welcome back for part two of our Feed the Beast series, Minecraft style. So, whoa, creeper, creeper, get away from that creeper. I just heard that thing go off. Where'd it go? I mean, he just like randomly started hissing. Okay, there he is. I'm on a fool's endeavor to go ahead and take this thing out. Okay, these things are very freaking picky now. I don't like that. Alright, smack you with a stone sword. And run off. Smack. No, you don't. Smack. Okay, got, got your ass. Good stuff. What are you doing, sheep? You never even gave me food. Get out of here. You bother me. So, I've died of hunger probably twice now. Since, for some reason on this map, cows are like a premium. Anywho, got a fishing rod set up. Took me plenty of spiders and plenty of deaths, but at least we got the string now to go ahead and get some fishing going. So now, we'll have food by sea. Okay, I said we'll have food by sea. So here's hoping we catch a fish this way. Teach a man a fish and he'll have food for a lifetime. That is if the fish want to bite. If the fish want to bite? Come on now, you know you want to bite. Seriously, you don't want to... Okay, maybe they don't want to bite. Next area, please. I don't know, it seems like something with the fishing seems a little bit off. Can't really put my finger on it, but it just seems different. Okay, well it don't matter, I got a fish, that's all that really matters. Now if we get that done, now if I can get an oven or stove set up. I can go ahead and cook the food and have that ready. Once I find coal again. Because apparently I tapped that whole mine out. That was filled with coal. Stupid monsters. And of course we missed the fish again. This could be a while. Wow, things went slow for a little bit, but then we started really hitting them. So we got about, what, six fish right about now? Seven. Very nice indeed. So let's keep these things rolling. Yes, sir. Fish for a day. That's what I'm going to wind up needing. As soon as we can go back and craft something to go ahead and cook this stuff. All right. Oh, missed it. Son of a... All right, if we can catch one more fish, we'll just call it a day fishing. And let's get back to the good stuff. Like going back and cooking this stuff and actually having some food. So we can feed the beast. Hopefully. Come on, now, any minute now, that little bobber's going to wind up going down and we're going to hook us some food. Booyah! Okay, that's all she wrote. Alright, so we gotta go, what, 60-some meters to go back home? Or at least to the cave, anyway. What is this? They got all kind of, like, little crevices in here. So this map is kind of interesting. It's got stuff everywhere. You just really have to go ahead and look for it. They got this, like, I don't want to say canyon. It's like a, more like a crevice itself. Of, like, just stone where it's like the earth just parted and left stone wide open. First and foremost, well, vines would be good, but I don't have the time for them. Let's go ahead, make the stove, a furnace, rather. Then we're going to have to find something to burn, like wood, for the furnace. Put you here. Good enough. Right next to the chest that's going to house all my stuff. Should I die uneventfully? So for the most part, it looks like some of the rules that were in Technic Pack don't really apply to Feed the Beast. I want to say wood may be a little bit more efficient. I know one thing's for certain. Some of these stone tools are actually more efficient in this than it was in Technic. So that is definitely a good thing. So if we can actually get two pieces of fish from one piece of wood, maybe... I think wood might be a little bit more efficient. I think it burnt a little faster in Technic. But either way, it's still a good thing to actually not have as many restrictions. I can understand the need to actually have some of the mods in Technic. But I think they really undercut several resources. Speaking of resources, there was actually some coal floating around here I saw before I went fishing. We have to find out where those resources were and actually try to use them. Pretty certain they were somewhere around in here. Ish, in a roof. Maybe it was further down the cave. Of course, I don't have any torches down here. Yeah, of course. There they are. 
in the dark part of the cave where I don't have any type of torches located. So at least if I can get this, it'll actually help make more torches and more like the rest of this area. Try to prevent more monsters from coming in. We've done had creepers and skeletal archers pop their way in here. That'll do. That'll do. Okay, anything else? Nope. First and foremost, get five. We're going to go ahead and make more torches. These will go there. And let's see. There. There. Okay. Of course, there'll be a dead end down here, so I guess that's not too surprising, right? Torch over here. Torch over here. Basically, anything to really light the way. Of course, I went too crazy with the torches, but oh, look, we found another cave. Oh, crap. Yeah, I see you down, down there. Holy crap, that is a drop. Whether you see it or not, that is a bloody drop. Okay, can't go that way. So there's one restriction. At least I can get that iron that was right there. Holy crap, what the heck is down there? Of course, there's more tin, but I don't want to risk it. Wow. I am currently on level, what, 56? That looks like it could go all the way down to, like, level 30 or 20, maybe. That's a pretty sizable drop. Can't go that way just yet. Gonna have to go back and get the food, but at least we actually have some stuff here. Some more resources to actually build more than we need. Resources as in coal. Hey, it's better than nothing, right? Alright, let's go ahead and snap all this up so that way we can make some more torches and whatnot. We can actually properly fuel the, the furnace. Alright, come on now, break it up. I mean, this stone pickaxe has been, like, very efficient. This may have been, like, the most efficient stone pickaxe I've ever used. So, at least with this, I get the feeling that, you know, they, they've changed some of the rules around the Technicad. Alright, so they got numbers. I don't think these num EU. Okay, yeah, so that's not really equivalent exchange. If you like equivalent exchange, that's great, but please don't mind me if I don't sound like I'm too thrilled over it. I really just got burnt out. While it was neat in the beginning, it really changes the whole experience for a bad way, I think, in the end. So toward the end, I just got to the point where I was like, bah, the heck with it. Oh, yeah, the, the uh, efficiency. Oh, yeah, look at that. 4,000 EU, yep. That is definitely more efficient than what... Technic pack had. So already I'm liking this already. If anything, it may actually be more. It might actually be more than regular Minecraft. That's interesting to say the least. If I can actually smelt down some cobblestone with regular coal, that is like really good. Okay, so while you do that, I need to go ahead and make some more torches. I'll just go ahead and use the rest of that off. Okay, put you there. You go there. You go in the chest, should I need you. I said, you go in the chest, should I need you. Tin ore, iron ore, blah, 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 whatever. Now I have to go out and get more wood, because apparently I don't have enough wood. No, you don't go there. Okay, never mind, here's more wood. We'll just go ahead and split these up. I said, go ahead and split these up. There we go. Oh, man. So much organization that needs to be done. Still in the mine, I've actually went ahead and started digging down, and I found me a nice little hole down here. So what's so different about a hole? Well, we've got more resources and whatnot to find down here. Whether I can survive the fall or not, it'd be a different story, but... You're up. Oh, that's a thing. Is that, is that uranium down here? That is uranium, and that is another opening over there. So there's some stuff. Oh, crap, that's a skeleton, and I don't need you. Get the frick away from me. Ah! Freaking dead eye. Okay. Now that he's temporarily disposed of at the moment, until the next respawn, let's go ahead and grab some more coal. Not much I could do with that uranium. 
It's just gonna have to sit there and wait till a later date and time. I am way, way nowhere near that right now. Then again, I don't know if I ever want to have another mel no, nuclear meltdown. I think I prefer the solar-powered approach. It's more environmentally friendly, of course. Okay, so we got a ton of coal here, which is good. Good stuff indeed. I'm pretty sure there's railcraft in this expansion, in this uh, Feed the Beast mod too. Pretty sure in this pack, not 100% because I didn't see the full list. Why well, I skimmed over the full list? I, I did see it, but I skimmed over it. So there's a chance that I probably didn't pay attention on it. Just probably. Okay, so we got copper over here. Oh, wow. Yeah, we're going down deeper and deeper. I don't want to go too deep, though, because I don't know what I'm getting myself into. Might as well go ahead and grab this copper. This, the rehued copper. I'm still saying most efficient pickaxe I've ever had so far. Stone-wise. Stone-wise. Okay, and... Whoa! Okay. Okay, yeah, that is a big bloody cavern. And I see redstone. Looks like more redstone or some kind of copper. That is coal. That is what else down there? Can I fall right here? Yeah. That is holy cripe. That is, yeah. I think there's like more iron and stuff along the walls as well. Yeah, there's iron over there with tin. Problem is, how are we going to get to that? I have to get a bucket, and I have to get some water and make a waterfall. That's all there is to it. Question is, how am I going to get back up? Where did I fall at, even? Oh, crap, there's a big room over here. This has to be explored. Very interesting, but... At the same time... Yeah, I fell over there. Okay. Can I make some stairs? Got like a spiral staircase here. We can have a staircase to get back up. Maybe-ish. Yeah, this may not work. Oh, crap. Didn't want to do that. Okay, try this. And can we have luck? I said, can we have luck? You gotta be kidding me. Okay, there we go. That'll do. That'll be the stairway. Then we can go ahead and remember to keep that there. Holy crap, I gotta smelt some stuff down. I got some ore and stuff. I can go get a bucket, then I can go grab some water. Then actually make like a, a waterfall down there to grab that stuff. Luckily it's daytime already, so that won't be a problem about monsters outside. Put you there. Uh, not, not copper. Let's just go with iron for right now. Then we'll have to go ahead and get some other stuff later on. I've seen a rubber tree somewhere around here as well. So we'll have to get a hold of a rubber and do all the industrial craft stuff as well. Very interesting indeed. Water bucket now acquired. Let's go back to the little spot and go down and see if we can't get down there to that bottom of the... Oh, what the heck? Where did you come from? I thought I secured this area with light. Clearly, I was wrong. Don't worry, we're going to take advantage of that right now and freaking put some light around here. If I had enough torches. Can't go down there without enough torches or else that's going to be in for a world of hurt. Quite surely. Whoa! Ten ingot got rehued. I'm very impressed. Very bright. Wow. So Feed the Beast really did a lot with some of the stuff. It rehued copper. It did a lot with tin. It rehued tin. Now, of course, the purpose is still the same. I have no idea. Because a lot of these mods have been updated since then. And if I can remember, my focus was to get more torches. There we go. Maybe I should hold... No, there's coal down there. I don't have to worry about it. Give me the coal. You go there. No, I didn't want you in the chest. You go into the furnace. Coal goes there. And you go in the chest. Alright, let's go down there now and do some investigating. See what's at the bottom of that cavern. 
Possibly diamonds, maybe? Who knows? Hmm. Alright, come on. Get around there. I can only just imagine at some point if I actually met villagers, they're going to be like, Oh my god, what atrocious manners he has. Was he raised in a cave? Why, yes. Yes, I was. Do you have a problem with that, bro? Alright, here we go. Now, where's a safe place I can actually... Well, it's not right there. Not right there, indeed. I need to actually put the waterfall somewhere where I can actually go down, and he's not going to let me do that. How freaking lovely. Now, if he'll hit me, he'll knock me right into the lava. Watch. You jerk. You're just waiting to knock me in that lava, aren't you? I know you are. I know what your plan is. You're not fooling nobody around here. Can I do this? And then have that go down into... Lava? Yeah, it goes right into lava and it puts that light out. But why does this not look safe to go down for some reason? Why does it feel like I could be making a big mistake here? But Oh well. Here goes nothing if not for the show. Oh, 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 oh. Yeah. You're gonna be a problem. You are gonna be a jerk like that, ain't ya? Can I draw your fire? You suck. Stay in a waterfall. Great. Yeah, I had a feeling he was gonna be a problem. He might be even worse trying to come back up. And we've made it safely to the bottom. Good stuff indeed. Ow! What the heck was hitting me? Oh, crap. Diamonds! Look at that! Look at that! How do you like them apples? Look at that. Right into diamond. If I could dig. If only I could dig. This is huge. What level am I on? 12. Wow. This map just gifted me something awesome. Right to the perfect level for diamonds. Now, can I mine them? No, of course not. Now, that looks like silver. So now it looks like they've actually done a better job rehewing it. Silver looks like silver. And tin looks awkward. But whatever. Alright, I don't want to starve here. And what else do we have around here? More tin, more that. Um, yeah, now that... Let me go ahead and grab this waterfall because I took the other one. And that way I can move again. Maybe, possibly. If the game sees fit. Yeah, I'll take you. I'll take some of this. Uh, get around the water, please. Thank you. I'll take you. If I can make some iron pickaxes, that'll be very lovely right about now. Okay, that's just a bat over there. Nothing to worry about. We'll grab some of this tin, because why not? And holy crap. Can we get up top around here? Okay, oh, more diamond. Look at that. More diamond. Wow, this is awesome. It's not the mother load, but still, it is awesome to say the least. So let me just try to take what I can. Yeah, I'm not going to be able to get all this in one swing. I could probably stay down here and get more, but we're not going to do that. Look at all this lovely coal. At least I could take part in this. As long as this water don't wash it somewhere hazardous. Go ahead and get all this. More diamond. How lovely. Lovely, lovely diamond. And of course we had a dark spot up there. Which could be roughly anything. So this is very awesome. Very awesome indeed. Okay, so we got you. We've got plenty of diamond, which I can't get just yet. Yeah, we gotta stay away from you because you're evil. Can we go up here and see what's up here? It's, it's definitely out of the diamond safe zone range, but still. Oh, wow. So there is more good stuff up here. Yeah, that is definitely... That definitely looks a lot like silver. The rehue looks better. At least now you can tell the difference between silver and tin. And I think this might just wind up being the end of the 
the, the crevice. The crevice, the cavern, the whatever you want to call it. Looks like, whoa, is this emerald? This has to be emerald. Uh, monazite? Monazite? What is this monazite? This is interesting. It breaks easy. I thought it might be emerald, but it's monazite. Hmm, I'm gonna have to look that one up. That looks interesting indeed. Then, of course, up there, we got more of that. More of this? Yep, I'll definitely partake. Need me some more coal. Uh, bleh. Need me some more coal because. Yeah, just because it's a coal. I wonder if they have that tungsten ore in here. Technic never really did anything with tungsten. It was highly rated. It was like double the rating of diamond. But it was just there. People were just told to hang on to it in case we have a use for it. And I never saw a use for it. Okay, that's gold. This looks like... This looks like more rehued. Bauxite box, ore? What is bauxite ore? Or whatever. However you pronounce it. What is this blood ore? That's what it looks like to me. Blood ore. What is its purpose? And... It's easy to dig up with a stone pickaxe. So I'm thinking it's not... Not highly rated. 703. Okay, so it's higher than copper. What about the other one? It's higher than monazite or whatever. Very interesting indeed. So there's new ores here as well that I don't know what to do with. I know one thing. I'm trying to stay alive so I actually find out what this stuff does. Yeah, and then there's some redstone right there. Could probably... Well, I'm not going to get it with a stone pickaxe, obviously. Ow! Ow! What the heck hit me like that? So there's all of this stuff. This looks like silver, if I can get into the water. Yeah, that's silver, clearly. If it was tin, it would have broken. So, oh wow, this is going to be very difficult to climb up here and not, not like, drowned. Oh, wow, yeah. So this will be slow indeed. And then I'm stuck. Alright, well that took a little bit, but we finally got back up to the top. Skeleton's gone, that's a good thing. We ain't got to worry about him trying to snipe me again. Let's go back. And... Well, I don't think I went the right way, but there's another tunnel over here. Probably taking a big risk by going and looking. But whatever. And I really got to make a shovel to actually stop breaking pickaxes like that. Anything useful? Okay, uranium. More coal. And... More apagite for whatever reason. I can't, Apagite's the one ore you like always tend to forget. It's like, what did apagite do again? Oh yeah, it did that. Okay, you're there. That looks like a drop to some lava. Get out of here, bat. Oh, no you don't. No you don't. No you don't. And I got level 10. Very nice. Anything else over here that I should be investigating? Ooh, more iron. I'll be taking that. More iron as well. I'd be taking that if I got the pickaxe on me, which I clearly don't. Great. I made two stone pickaxes, and the other one's left back in the chest. Alright, so for the most part, there's plenty of iron around here. I just gotta go ahead and get the pickaxe for it and take advantage of the stuff. And find out what this other ore is. Oh, crap! Out of the way, fool! I said out of the way! Whoa! Down the hole! Down, down the hole! Ha 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 ha! Take that, you stupid skeleton! Once again, another mean drop. 